Hello all, welcome back to STEP Campus. In previous session, we have completed meetings across the location and intercultural skill for project delivery topics. We have provided the link below in the description for your reference for previous lectures. In this session, we are going to cover two more topics, articulate to improve productivity and risk to embrace when working in multicultural team. So let's start with today's session. The first is articulate to improve productivity. This is, uh, this helps in what to say, when to say and how to say so that the timelines are respected in geographical dispersed team. When interacting with a team member who is not from our culture, who is from another culture, do not be, be in a hurry to judge them. Be very empathetic to them. Be very careful for the word you choose because what words is a sign of pun for us is not a sign of pun for them. It may hurt them. Use your humor carefully. During the meetings in geographically dispersed team, show empathy for people from different time zones. When we have different time zones, we are ahead or behind of them. And because of that, do not stretch the meetings beyond their time zones. Rotate the time zone. Maybe it, it may be a possibility that we are not in the particular time zone where we have to help each and other to come to a single point. Always try to rotate them. Uh, sometimes stretch our late night. Sometimes uh, be uh, empathetic to them and stretch their uh, late nights and uh, do it. Praise according to the culture. Some cultures do not prefer to be praised whereas some prefers to be praised. So work accordingly. The second topic which we are going to start is risk to embrace when working in multicultural team. Now the factors which are affecting in the time zones and daylight savings time. Daylight savings time is nothing but DST. This may be asked as a full form in the exam. So you may note it down. Uh, be aware of the time zone, time zones and time differences between the city, uh, between the cities which you work, between the countries which you work. Be conscious that many large countries have multiple time zones. Uh, if you are working in countries like USA, there will be multiple time zones, different time zones for different, uh, different uh, cities. So keep in mind that also. Pay attention to the time difference between the time zones and specific date or time slot required. Keep the meetings short according to them or the work you need to get done between the work, working hours. Check whether the DST may be prevalent in certain months. Uh, we have daylight savings. Uh, for Australia, it is four and a half hours after 4th of April, whereas it is uh, five and a half hours after 5th of October. So keep in mind similar daylight saving changes. Uh, linear approach to time uh, for countries like USA, UK, Australia, Canada, for them time is money. So indirect indirect communication cultures like like these countries, members prefer to be uh, addressed in formal ways and addressing client by their first name if they have requested you to do so like Mr. and the surname or Miss or Doctor whatever they have asked you to you can address them accordingly. Uh, establishing definition of done for the meeting. Monochronic time culture, that would mean that the end of the day is typical work day for the person addressing the task. Normally, the working hours would be 8 hours for suppose 9 to 5 or 10 to 6. Uh, this uh, approach is followed by UK, US, Germany, Northern Europe and Australia. Polychronic time culture is uh, like they would stretch for completing the task. And that would be India, of course. We always stretch our work lines. The next uh, culture is individualistic culture. Uh, we, uh, this culture people try to keep their personal and professional time separate. They have also started to disconnect their phones, emails, whichever are given from office after the office hours. The following countries are UK, USA, Northern Europe and Australia. Collectivist culture. Collectivist culture is nothing but uh, these type of people often take commitment as the sign to extend the work. They will complete their work and then only they will uh, log off for the day. They will stretch their working hours. Such countries are India, Arab and LATM countries. Uh, today we will keep for uh, this session till the, here. You can uh, refer to our previous lectures for the same. Happy learning. Keep learning. We will see you in next lecture.